Have you ever wanted to increase your FPS, decrease your input delay and ping in a few minutes? This is the EXM Free Tweaking Utility, a tool which will help your PC achieve better performance and lower latency in any game. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about our EXM Premium and Standard Tweaking Utilities. These are the most advanced and effective optimization tools that we have to offer. They will completely optimize your PC with an impress of a few buttons. So if you notice a difference after using our Free Tweaking Utility, our Premium and Standard Tweaking Utilities will help you so much more. We have over 3,000 customer reviews on our Discord server and website. So make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC and unlock your full potential. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. So simply head over to any of our videos and go to the description. In there, simply join the Discord server, which should be right here. And once you're in our Discord server, simply head over to the free tweaking utility category. In there, just find the latest version. If it isn't version 8.0, then just watch the tutorial for the latest version since this video is about 8.0 but yeah simply press on the download link and this will take you to a google drive and in the google drive simply uh, download the exm free tweaking utility file uh, like this and while it's downloading i want to tell you guys something get this video to 2000 likes and get us to 32,000 subs and i'll drop a new version of the free utility with a bunch of new tweaks anyway simply open the folder by clicking on it now you can either extract it using this button or you can just drag it onto your desktop which is what i'm going to be doing so just minimize all the windows and drag it onto your desktop like this and now simply right click on it and run it as administrator this is really important because it will make sure all the tweaks apply properly all right so in the welcome screen simply press any key to continue and now it's time for a restore point which will basically just allow you to revert the utility so if you don't like what it does you can just go back but yeah i'll press one and enter and it will create a restore point all right so it just made a restore point just press ok and now it will download the resources like the power plan etc and boom now we're in the menu and as you can see uh we have 13 different categories of tweaks and some extra stuff in here real quick before we start if you want to revert something or fix something like bluetooth real quick just use these two categories but yeah anyway so the first thing that we're going to be doing is some general system optimizations press one and enter and in this little menu just press one and enter again it will apply some general registry and windows optimizations now it will open this little thing where you basically just copy my settings make sure show thumbnails instead of icons is checked and make sure these two are checked as well just press apply and press ok next we have fsc depending on if you have windows 11 or windows 10 press the option i windows 11 so i'm going to be pressing one and same with game mode if you have windows 11 press one and if you have windows 10 press two so that's everything for the first category next we have power optimizations and i have a warning for you guys if your pc has overheating issues please do not do this because it will make them worse and make your pc perform worse but if your pc doesn't have overheating issues just press two and enter uh press ok on the little pop-up and in here we we have five different buttons and an apply all button which is what i'm going to be using so just press a if you want to use the apply all button feel free to go through them one by one if you want so firstly it will import the free power plan which is one of the best ones out there so just select it i'll still keep using my premium power plan since it's slightly better after that you can just close it after you select the power plan and you just press enter or whatever and it will apply some basic power tweaks like disable a bunch of power saving features etc and now lastly you can delete the default power plants those are like the energy saver balance etc so if you don't want to delete them you can just skip this or you know you can delete them but i'll personally just be skipping this so yeah that's everything for power optimizations next we have mouse and keyboard optimizations so just press t and enter in here we have two options the first one is a pretty simple one just press one and enter boom and the next one that we have is going to be setting mouse and keyboard at a q size all right so in here we have three different options and the way you select them is by pressing t to open task manager and in here simply go to the performance category and find your cpu so as you can see i have a 13 gen intel core i7 basically what you want to do is just comment your cpu down below under this video and i'll tell you whichever one of these options you should use so my cpu is a high-end one so i'm going to be using that so that's everything for mouse and keyboard next up we have gpu optimizations this is really simple all you have to do is just select whichever type of gpu you have i have an nvidia gpu so i'm going to be pressing that first it will apply an nvidia profile inspector profile press ok on that and then it will do some general nvidia tweaks after that you have the option to enable or disable hardware acceleration which i highly recommend disabling it because in most cases that will actually help your performance a decent amount so i'm going to be disabling it this is something uh, that is different on each pc so you can test it out yourself a general rule of thumb it's better disabled on like 95 percent of pcs all right so after that we have cpu optimizations and same as with power optimizations these may slightly increase your temperature so if you have overheating issues skip them so i'm going to be pressing five and enter press ok on the pop-up and in here uh you just select if you have an amd or intel cpu and i have an intel one so i'm going to be pressing two and boom 
that's it. Next up, USB optimizations, which is a really simple one. You just press one followed by enter. That's all. After that, we have a pretty big category, which is going to be system debloat. In here, you can either apply all of them or you can just go through them one by one, which is what I highly recommend doing. And I'm also going to be doing that in this video. So firstly, I'm just going to disable Xbox and game DVR. Next, we have disable telemetry which will just disable a bunch of Windows uh, data collecting features. After that, we have disabling Bluetooth. So if you use Bluetooth, don't disable it. And I don't use Bluetooth, so I'll be disabling it. Following that, we have disable printing and maps. So just press four and enter. Next, we have toggle mitigations. And these are basically security features which protect your memory against attacks, but they're not that important. And they also come at a pretty big performance cost. So if you're a person which likes to keep your security at 100, I respect that. So if you do that, just go back to menu or keep them enabled but i will personally be disabling them since you know performance next we have disabled diagnostics and error reporting feel free to disable this and afterwards we have toggle microsoft stores so if you don't use microsoft store just press one and enter skip this if you use it of course next we have disable hyper v so if you use virtual machines on your pc then don't disable this i personally on this specific pc don't use them so next up we have disable startup apps which in here just press ok on the pop-up and it will open this app so here make sure to go into log on this is very important so just press on log on and in here i don't have them things because i just clean installed windows the general rule of thumb is to just disable everything which you don't want starting up on your pc when you turn it on i personally just disable discord epic games launcher and stuff like that but keep cmd checked keep your antivirus checked if you have an external one and these na files should also be checked and i'm keeping timer resolution checked as well and lastly in the bloat we have windows update blocker so just press 10 and enter press ok on the pop-up so in windows update blocker you have the option to enable or disable windows updates the the reason why you would want to disable windows updates is because when you're playing they can just randomly start up and that will kill your performance i personally keep them disabled and of course if you want to install them you know keep them enabled and a big side note if you use microsoft store enable them because microsoft store won't work without windows update you can always come back and enable them later that's everything for system debloat next up we have storage optimizations so first up we have trim and defragment drives this will open this little menu. I'll personally just be trimming my SSD. You can also defragment your hard drive, which uh, if you want to do it, do it. But keep in mind, it may take hours or even more. But I'll personally be skipping out on that. Next up, uh, we have just the other three tweaks, which I'll just be doing real quick. So enable user write cache, disable SSD power savings, and optimize NVMe settings. The ninth option is going to be memory optimizations or RAM optimizations. And in here, all you have to do is just select your RAM amount. If you don't know how much RAM you have, just press T to open task manager, go into performance. And as you can see, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So that is going to be the sixth option. And if for some reason your RAM amount isn't on here, just press the next nearest option and it will work just fine. So it will disable memory compression and some other features. All right, so that's everything for memory optimizations. Next up, we're going to be doing fixed corrupted files. This is just going to run a system check on your PC. It may take up to a few minutes. I'll just skip to when it's finished. All right, y'all, so I just finished, no diddy. But now we're going to be uninstalling useless apps. So just press 11. And firstly, we have uninstall Windows pre-installed apps. All right, so the next step that we have is going to be uninstalling useless apps via settings. You can just straight up go through this and if you know that you don't use something just press the uninstall button simple as that all right so next up we have uninstall microsoft edge so if you don't edge uh you can just press one and of course if you want to keep it you can just go back to menu but i don't edge so i'm going to be disabling it next up we have uninstalling cortana and copilot that's everything for uninstall the second to last option is going to be pc clean in here firstly we have clean temporary device data and secondly uh just press two in here make sure your c drive is selected press ok Okay, it will scan, take a few seconds, All right? And in here, make sure to just select everything. I'll just press okay and delete it. It will take a few seconds to delete. All right, so it just finished. And lastly, we have the EXM network utility, which is the updated one, press 13. And in here, uh, there's a separate tutorial for this. So just press T. This will take you to this video. And in here, you just have to skip to about 210. Just watch from here and it will tell you exactly how to use this utility. This is basically just the network utility. It will help you decrease your ping and buffer bloat. So yeah, anyways, once you're done with that, simply restart your PC. That's all you have to do for it, the tweaks to 
properly apply. If you want to revert something or just completely revert the utility, then all of the options are down here. If you want to completely optimize your PC, press W and this will take you to our website where here you can just check out our premium and standard tweaking utilities, which are just more advanced versions of this and will help you a lot more. That's everything for today's video. Have a wonderful day. Love y'all.